warm sunny and they took good spot on dark clouds across the horizon. It was also the 1st of July and they are celebrating Canada Day. But Adam and I decided to take that drive and search for a good island camping spot that can be accessed by a canoe as he would like to share the island camping experience with my brother Joseph and his family after the wedding. I remember the ride being a pendulum of hope and the opposite as the sun literally beamed upon us most of the time, highway. But as we neared the target docking spot, the heavens started to open and heavy rains poured. A little rain wouldn't have faced us but it turned into giant teardrops that we actually had to have our lunch inside the car. Luckily, the sky cleared up as we were finishing our lunch. And so we decided to still go for the island hunt, but we opted against the overnight camp as we are not prepared for an impending heavy rain. Initially, also, we have set our minds to try a sleepover at that spot and celebrate the eve of Adam's birthday there. So we actually brought our tree tent and some basic camping gears. So a quick glance at the weather forecast strongly advised us not to do so. Yet hope springs eternal and all that, so we set off. Your brother will open up there. So, after about an hour of rowing, we found the perfect spot. We found it! This is the perfect place to get a bath. It was such a beautiful island. Lush, fresh. And we don't mind the box. So we explored the area and wished we really had our camping gear with us. When we are about to leave, I set the GoPro for a video shot of us facing the sea. And then this happened. Yes. Yeah. 